one of them. But right now we're talking social media reaction when it comes to AI, artificial yeah. intelligence. Ariana Moyer here right now with more about LinkedIn and its AI workplace information? Yes, so LinkedIn partnered with parent company Microsoft to kind of provide insight and data on generative AI use in the workforce, essentially. So the report that they kind of put out shows that generative AI has nearly doubled in the last six months with about 75% of employees already using AI at work. 46% just kind of started using it in the past six months. You're seeing some charts and stuff there. Um, now they didn't mention how people are using AI. They said that the study is kind of lacking in that regard. Of course, people are saying that they're using it, but are they using it to generate ideas every now and then? Are they using it on a daily basis for work tasks, that kind of thing? They also noted that 53% of people who use AI at work do worry that using it will make them uh, essentially look replaceable. And then they also mentioned that Leaders in the workforce industry, about 66% of them uh, are more likely to hire someone with AI skills than not. Speaking of AI and jobs, I know speaking with folks who are looking for jobs, now there are employers who openly say on a job posting that they use yes. AI to screen resumes, and as a result, people applying for jobs are running their resumes through yes. AI software to make sure that mm -hmm. they're Checking the and boxes. they're adding that in their skill list in their resume section, uh, pro proficient AI use, I have AI skills, things like that. And they showed uh, data on like the biggest groups on LinkedIn, more creative types and some software engineers that are adding those AI skills on their list there so people, so it jumps out to employers. How things have changed. I, I can't even imagine yes. what it's <laughs> going to look like even one year from now. More on that on our website, erienewsnow.com.